I just don't know that you can find a neighborhood in the city where you can hear music and dance and take a ride in a low rider and bump down the street. It's just a, an experience that you can't have anywhere else in San Francisco. District 9 is in the southeast portion of the city. We have four neighborhoods that I represent. St. Mary's Park it has a, a completely unique architecture, very distinct feel, uh, and is very close to Holly Park, which is another beautiful park in San Francisco. The Bernal Heights District is uh, unique in that we have Bernal Hill, which has one of the best views in all of San Francisco, and there's a swing hanging from a tree at the top. It's as if you're swinging over the entire city. The Port Alit District has two unique aspects to it. One, it's considered the fourth Chinatown in San Francisco. 60% of the residents are of Chinese ancestry, newly arrived Chinese immigrants. The second unique and, and fun aspect about the Port Alit is it's San Francisco's garden district. There was a lot of urban agriculture and it was where the city grew the majority of the flowers, not only for San Francisco, but for the region. And then of course, it's the location of McLaren Park, which is the city's second biggest park after Golden Gate. Many people don't even know the neighborhood in the first place if they haven't been there. It's, we call it the best neighborhood nobody has ever heard of. Every neighborhood in District 9 has a, a very special aspect. The one where we are right now is the Mission District. The Mission District is a really special part of our city. You smell the tacos and the the uh, pan dulce from the panaderias, La Victoria Bakery that has the best Latin pastries, everything from alfajores, which are, you know, these shortbread cookies with caramel in the middle from Argentina. And then you walk further down and you've got Sunrise Cafe. It's really a place that you come for the incredible food, but also to learn about what's happening in the neighborhood and how you can help and support your community. 24th Street is the birthplace of the mural movement. And we have right now over 620 murals. It's the largest outdoor public gallery in the country and possibly the world. You can find so much political engagement next to so much incredible art. It's another reason why we think this is a cultural district that we must preserve. Calle 24 was formed in 2014. And we have been an organization that's been around for over 20 years. And we have worked a lot in the neighborhood around quality of life issues. Most recently, beginning in 2012, there was a lot of issues around displacement and gentrification in the neighborhood. So the idea of, of forming Calle 24 Latino Cultural District was to help preserve uh, the history and the culture that's in this neighborhood for future families and generations. In the past decade, 8,000 Latino residents in the Mission District have been displaced from their community. We all know that the rising cost of living in San Francisco has led to many people being displaced of lower and middle incomes all over the city. But because of some of the richness in this neighborhood that, I'm, that I also mentioned, you know, the fact that it's flat and so accessible by public transportation has made it very popular. Well, it's a struggle for us right now. You know, when you get a lot of development come into an area, a lot of new people come into the area with a different set of values and a different culture, there's a lot of um, struggle between the, the, the existing community and the new that's coming in. And there's some things that we do to try to slow it down so it doesn't completely erase the communities. We do try to have development that's more uh, tuned with the community, more equitable development in the area. You need to meet with, gain the support, find out the needs of the neighborhood, the people and the businesses that came before you. You need to dialogue, you need to show respect, and then figure out how to bring in the new without displacing the old. I hope that we can reset a lot of uh, the mission that uh, we have lost uh, in the last 20 years. So we're gonna be bringing a lot of folks back into the neighborhood. So when we do that, then there's a demand for you know, a certain types of, of goods and services that pertain more to the local community and working class. Back in the day, Valencia Street, for example, 
looked and felt like Mission Street, and now it doesn't look or feel anything like Mission Street. That this is the last stand of sort of the Latino concentrated arts, culture, cuisine people. We created the cultural district to do our best to preserve that feeling. That's what makes our city so cosmopolitan, so diverse, and makes us the envy of the world is that we have these unique neighborhoods with so much cultural presence and learning that we want to preserve.